Hello, this is Ray Garrett again. Thank you for joining. This video is about support, specifically around support while you're in Zap. So let's talk about that. First, we want to talk about the difference in types of support. So the first type of support I'll talk about is when something is broken. Now this is when you know it's broken. You go in, it was working yesterday, it was working the day before, today it's broken. So what do you do when something is broken or what does the agent do? Well the agent's going to click on the support um, tab here and there's a line, there's a phone line for them to call. Now what this represents is Madison, New Jersey technical support, the Realty Help Desk in Madison, New, York, New Jersey. A lot of agents are going to be used to calling their local operating company support and that number will not get them where they need to go. They'll just tell them to call the app or whatever. They've got to dial this number. So I'd like to encourage you to make sure agents are dialing that number. So there's two other categories that go into this though. Well, what if it's, what if it's not broken? Or what if I just suspect it's broken? I don't know if it's broken. Well, that's when they call you, the manager, and uh, you guys will talk about it. In the beginning, you might not know a lot about uh, why something is broken or if it's broken, but you'll get there. You'll learn that. And then finally, there's the category of, well, it's not broken. Uh, maybe I wish it had something, or maybe I need to know how to use something that I, maybe I learned about last week or a couple of weeks ago, but now I've forgotten how to use. And that really is where support comes in. So their inclination is going to be to call you to get you to tell them how to do something. But really where we should be guiding them is to the support center. And they get there by clicking this link. And once they click this link, it takes them into the support center or the knowledge base is what we like to call it. But knowledge base is just one aspect of the support center. You can see here there's five main categories. The first one is getting started. Now this is when they get done with all their training and they are simply ready to go in the system this will help them get up to speed on you know what's my first activity that kind of thing so we click on that really quickly just to kind of see what this looks like it's some resources get all your ducks in a row get leads and keep them coming all of that good stuff is a really good primer on where to start once you once you know where to click now this is where you start to start your business Second is the community. Now community is helpful in two ways, or in lots of different ways, but in two major ways. Number one, it, you can go in there and put in requests of things that you'd like to see in the system, and the most popular requests become updates, and they update every two weeks. You can also go in here and just ask a question, or post a question on there. So there's 103 users online right now that are there interacting with folks that, that, that like going and answering those questions, but there are some professional paid people who are in there to respond quickly to these, uh, to these responses. And, and what you'll find is, is that at, at this point, the question that the agent ha has about something has probably already been asked. If they just search for it, they'll see there. But every now and then there's a new one and there are people there to answer those questions. So that's where you go if you've got a question. Either search for the answer to that question or post it in the community. Next is the knowledge base. The knowledge base is, is, is really, it's, it's a really good name for it because that's where all of the main articles and videos and things like that exist around specific topics. Want to know about the local SEO playbook? That's there. Bulk imports? That's there. Bulk email? That is there. All of those specific tasks are there by category so you so the agent can look them up really quickly and find uh, precise instructions next you have the video library some people learn better by video so all of the videos that you've seen in the other number of uh, uh, whether it's the easy zap or zap open house those are all located there plus some other videos as well and that's there in the video library and finally you've got the glossary this might be more helpful for you than them because there's going to be some times when you know you hear something in a call or a training session that you may have heard that word or that phrase and not know what it meant now you can go look it up in the glossary and and just see what that was we'll see what that was all about so that in uh, in a nutshell is the is the knowledge base and I think the knowledge base is also really handy because it, it'll occur inside of Zap as well. So let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, you see here that all of these, um, there, there are often times where you see the Zap score, for instance, you see a little question mark next to Zap score. I can click it and read more about it, but then 
if I want to learn more about Zap Score in the knowledge base, I can click on it and it will bring up that uh, that article. So I can understand the Zap Score. I can see a quick video on it, and there are other related links as well to help me know exactly what Zap Score is all about. And those are links right there inside. That's another way that the knowledge base is used. So I would I would have agents really getting used to using this knowledge base and support for making updates, for asking questions, for uh, for for really just interacting with the rest of the community, for making suggestions, and for basic questions, also have them use the support link here so that they can um, so that they can call in if something is broken. And again, their suggestion box is right there as well. So hope you found this video helpful. Uh, there's a lot more to learn there. We just barely scratched the surface. So go into your support tab click on the support center and go take a look at all of the various resources there and find the ones that you like and recommend them to the agents. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.